to show you how to work with tables in Microsoft Word in this video session. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start up here by clicking on the Answer tab. And what I want to have and to do here is tables are a great way to organize your data within the document. It could be as simple as you know you need to portray a list. Um, you know, a lot of times when people work with calendars, they actually create the calendar with the table feature. So what I want to do here is I'm going to show you how to insert a table, how to do some modifications to it, and how to work with it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the table drop-down list up here, and you can insert a table with so many rows, so many columns. Notice when I bring my mouse and I drag down, you'll see the Word document actually change. So I'm going to choose a 4 by 3 table, which means 4 columns and 3 rows. Automatically, you will see that when I, when I click on that or release my mouse, it automatically inserted a table for me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in some, I'm going to enter in some information. I'm going to tab. Every time you press your tab key, it will actually take you to the next cell to the right. I'm going to type in a heading. Tab. And again, all I'm doing is tabbing. When you get to the end of the row, just tab. It takes you to the next row. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in a product name. I'm going to just say product A. And now I'm just going to press my down arrow. When I press my down arrow key, I'm taking it to the next row because I don't need to type in the information yet. Now I'm going to just take my mouse and I'm just going to click right below West and right to the right of product A. I'm just going to type in a number. And I'm tabbing this time. Now, if you press tab at the very last cell, it will automatically insert a new row. So I press my tab key, I'm able to go in, add an extra row if I wanted to. Now, let's see what we can do to do some modifications of this. What I'm going to do is I'm automatically insert a row at the very top to add a title to the table. So I'm going to click in the very top row. Anywhere in the top row will work. And you'll find that you're going to find that right clicking really works well. So I'm going to right click here in the top row. This opens up a shortcut menu that you can do a variety of different things. You can change your table properties, you can change your alignment of your cells, but I want to insert a row. So I'm going to come here to where it says insert. I'm going to tell it to insert rows above. It automatically inserts a row right above it, and you'll notice that it inserts the four columns as well. And with the rows entirely selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to merge as one. I'm going to tell it to merge as one. If you right click on the selected cells, you can come down and click on merge cells. This makes all four cells as one. And I'm going to type in the title of the company, ABC Company. I can format my text if I want to. I'll highlight the text. I'll click on my home tab. I'll increase the font size. I'll make it bold. I'll add a little text color. I'll even center it. You can go in and all we do is add just an extra row if we wanted to. What we can do here with the headings, I want to highlight just the three cells. To do that, I'm going to just highlight West. I'm going to go all the way across, dragging straight to the right with your mouse held down. And I'm going to come up and just click on B for bold. I want to also take my mouse right to where it says product A and drag straight down. I'm dragging straight down by holding down my mouse. I'm going to click B for bold. So I'm formatting my text within the cell. If you decide that you don't need a row anymore, let's say product B we're not selling anymore, I'm going to right click anywhere in that row. 
I want to come down and you notice that when it says delete, it says delete cells. Well that will only delete one cell, so what I need you to do is we're going to highlight that entire row. When you highlight the entire row, right click again and choose delete cells. You want to choose delete entire row from the drop or from the dialog box and click OK. And then once you click OK, it is now gone. Now if you make a mistake and you need to undo it, just come up here to your quick access bar and click on the undo button. And now it's back. You can also go in and modify the widths of the columns. It's kind of similar to if you're comfortable with Excel, it works the same way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my mouse over in between the columns. And you'll notice that when my mouse is brought over to these columns, it changes to a double vertical line with arrows pointing to the side. All I'm going to do is hold down my mouse, I'm going to drag it to the left, and I've resized column one. But what happened is it made too much uh, column two to have too much of a large space. So I can you know, I'm going to do the same thing by dragging it over. I'll come between south and north and drag it over. And then I'll come at the very end and drag that over as well. Now, one of the things that people don't know about, instead of resizing that way, you can also resize rows by coming in between. Um, the rows itself and just dragging up or down. If you want to make sure that your columns are equal spacing, then what I'll do is I will highlight those three columns and I'll come back up to under the table tools and I'm going to come over to the layout tab. There's a button here that will say distribute columns. It's in the cell size section. When I click on that, it will automatically resize the columns so they're perfectly the same size. So you had to go to the Layout tab within the Table Tools section to do so. So if I increase uh, like row, you know, like product B here for the row, I'm going to highlight these three rows. And I want to tell it not to distribute columns but distribute the row option. And it will automatically resize it for me to fit it uh, nice and perfect. So you can actually go in and work and create a table to create a nice organized data if you need to. So all we're doing is we're showing you how to format our text, we're showing you how to resize our columns, and we added a nice little title at the top in our column if we wanted to. Another thing that you can do is you can go over to the design tab up here under table tools and you can apply a style to it. Notice how I bring my mouse over any of these styles? It adds like different shades to it. I do have other options I can choose from. And when you have every other row a different shade, it makes the data a little bit more readable and viewable to the actual person who's reading the table itself. So you can automatically add a style to your table by going in, just choosing the option from the list. And there's a whole big list. Now be careful, maybe the text that you formatted is now unreadable. So like in my title up here where it says ABC Company, it's not as, it's too hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text color to white. So it makes it a little bit more readable for the user. So you can do a variety of different things with tables in Microsoft Word, but one of the things is you got to know what type of data you're going to organize. And in this case, we just did a certain amount of uh, like a different products of what was sold in the different uh, divisions. Now, what we can do, if you don't like any of the styles, I'm going to come back and I'm going to actually come back up here. And I'm going to go and just choose the table grid. So it's back to normal. But be careful, you know, that I changed the text color to white. That's what happens because of white background. So I'm going to change that back to automatic. So it's black text. So this is how you, you create a simple table, how you can edit your table, how to resize your columns, because you don't you definitely don't want something that's really huge like this. You want to resize it accordingly.